hey guys, we're going after some crappie today, and we're going to be using that Johnson Beetle Spin, a black baby shad Baba Garland jig, and we're going to be using some crappie bites. Let's see what we can do. There he goes. <laughs> He's a fast little crappie. Oh yeah, that's a pretty good one. <laughs> he wasn't that little. He was a pretty good crappie. That's a good eater. We'll take him. Oh man, what we got here? Pretty good fighter. About jerked my pole out of my hand. Oh, the bass. Yeah, he he was very aggressive. I was not expecting that. Hang on there, buddy. Mm hmm. Yep. Man, he's dark colored. Pretty fish. Alrighty. Later. Here's our fishing lure we're going to be using today. We're going to take a Johnson Beetle Spin. <clears throat> no matter what size, we're going to put a gold perforated blade on here. Black Bobby Garland jig and crappie bites. And you'll end up with this right here. Pretty good little rig set up. I don't really think the crappie care for these. I, I think they love the scent of them. And that's what I usually use them for is just the scent. But anyway... What we're going to do, oh, oh yeah, if you have trouble finding these black bobby garlands, let me tell you where they keep these dudes. I've been finding them at Walmart. Now, I started using these last summer. It's a, uh, it's a color that nobody buys, basically, because most people see these jigs and they want these colors like this. We want this flashy, glittery purples and pinks and whites and pearls. That's what our eyes want but my lake my lake the fish want the black so try to figure out what your fish are after that's why you should have a couple packs in your box just to try them out especially when the fish are biting when the fish are biting a little bit and you're not sure if they really like it or not try one of these blacks if they bite it more they may like this color in your area but anyway Go to your lo local Walmart. You're not going to find these hanging on the shelf on most Walmarts. Most Walmarts are going to put them on a box on the bottom shelf. And they're going to have a bunch of these five-pack trial size Bobber Garland jigs. And, you you know, there'll be several different colors of them. And you can pick and choose whatever you want. But that's the only place I find these black jigs. I filled my whole wall up full of them. You probably won't find any of these in my area. So, you know... <laughs> I keep my Walmarts cleaned out. But I will tell you this. They they are very productive. This is the most productive color in my area. I use everything and I change up. Sometimes they like the whites better. The white pearls and the blacks. Oh yeah, I wanted to show you another little thing. When uh, you buy these, instead of, instead of just wasting them like I, I used to do. I used to... Man, I'm running into the sticks here. I used to waste these things and you know I go through three or four packs a day fishing because everything likes them the, the bass like them the crappie like them the brim every once in a while you get a, a, a bullhead catfish or a bowfin grinnell but I would use so many of them but what I figured out is if you put a little super glue on each side of that jig they last so much I go I want I went from using two to three packs a day to two to three jigs a day and you can just, this safety pin style on here, you can just undo that dude, take that off. Like say you tore the jig, take it off, find you another one, put him on there really quick and easy. Boom, you're ready to go again. And change colors. You know, if I wanted to change colors, you can do the same thing. Pick you out a, a different style or colors and have these dudes ready to go. But I recommend super gluing them because you're going to save a lot of money and a lot of time. Have you a few set up, ready to go. That way, uh, you don't have no hassle trying to glue them while you're here. I'd say, oh, look at this one right there. Man, that's a big fish. What is that? Is that a gar? 
There he is. <laughs> no, it wasn't no gar. What is that? A grinnel? Well, I see him on top of the water. Oh yeah. Whoa. I can't turn my Oh, we're pulling you out here. Oh looky here what we got. That is a snakehead. It sure is. <laughs> I caught my I caught an official snakehead. That's good. You know what I've been wanting to do guys? If I don't lose him. I'm going to do a catch and cook on one of these dudes. Everybody tells me these things are good eating. Now I'm fixing to find out. They, they keep telling me how good these snake heads are. Easy guys. Let me get back in here in the shade. But yeah, I hit the wrong switch on my trolling motor and, went, and it went crazy. A snake head. Cool. I'm going to do a catch and cook on this dude. Always wanted to try them. Everybody tells me how good they are. He just, I just seen him swimming along now. Whoa. Let's see what he looks like here. Uh, whoa. He's kind of slimy. <laughs> they said their flesh is very good. And I know Grinnell are very tough. Wow. He is all over the place. There we go. Wow. He's a dark looking one. He's not very pretty, but we're going to try him. There he is. We'll give that dude a little try, guys. I lost a good crappie right here one day. He, he went crazy after it, and I didn't hook him. But there he is. I don't know if I can get him on there or not. Yeah. Oh, he's a little guy. <laughs> He's not the, uh, he's not that little. He's a good, good eating size crappie. The uh, one that I hooked that day, he was over a pound or so. He was a big, big guy, but that's a pretty crappie. Yes, sir, we'll take it. Here's something, guys. When you got two trees, everybody in the in their country is going to hit these trees. They know that's a good fishing lo location. A good chance of catching something. But you see all that open water right there, that open bank? It's full of debris. There's logs and sticks and twigs, everything on there. And what what they don't tell you is there's fish on there too. You, you know, everybody says, oh, them trees, the trees. But I've caught a whole bunch of fish on them open banks. Definitely good productive places to fish. And another thing about them open banks, most people are doing just like we was talking about. They're, they're hitting every tree down through here and they're skipping the open bank. They're, they're actually skipping it. So there's probably more fish on the open bank than there is on the trees at any given moment. You know, fish move around, but I'm just saying, sometimes that place is loaded. So don't just skip it. Get out there and fish the edge of that duckweed or whatever you want to do just to just to see if anybody's home over there. Might be the biggest slab you caught of the day right there. You never know. Check this out guys. I get to do a sneak attack on this spot again. I think this is a good I caught that one little crappie there. I'm sure there's some more here. I had to come down here and turn around because the wind was too vicious. So, I, at least if I'm turned face towards the wind, I have a little bit of control. It's still going to blow me around, but I have a lot better control. The old crappie should be right. There he is. I'm safe. Caught one there, it should be another one. Oh, that's a bass. He fought like a crappie. Or he might have run the run the crappie out of there, the little ones. Later.
Oh, there he goes. And I got him in the top. Whoa. That's a pretty good bluegill. Yep. He jumped on the old beetle spin. I'll take it. We're going to knock on a crappie's door here in a minute. See if we can find him. I'm sure he's home. Somewhere. Knock, knock, Mr. Crappie. We are definitely looking for Mr. Crappie. He might be out here right in front of the boat. I'm thinking we know slow and steady is going to catch him. Uh oh. There he goes. We got that dude over up. We think we do. He's another little guy. These are good eating crappie. They just, they just need to grow up a little bit. Later. There he is. Oh, that ain't no crappie. Oh, that's a gar. <laughs> yeah, I've been wanting to fish the back side of it because I think the black crappie's back here. I think it. Oh, there he is. The bass. The bass is back there. <laughs> Little old guy. Yeah, later. Definitely want to cast over here to this log. There he is. Oh yeah. Well, we got we got a bluegill. Another bluegill. He jumped on that old beetle spin, didn't he? Man. There you go. He's not too bad. We'll take him. We still might wake one up. I'd like to get a pull right through here. I know that's a dangerous zone right there, but I'm gonna bump through it. It could be a good fish zone. Try another one right through there. Boom, that's a good spot. Oh, there he was. Oh, he got around a limb or something. Or he's just a big fish. Whoa. Oh, that's a bass. Yeah, he's a big fish. Good. Easy, buddy. <laughs> he's a fighter. <laughs> All right. Are you through? Come on. Ouch. Release. Yeah, I didn't get to see him. Oop, he's still there. Got a little guy. Hmm. He got a battle scar on him. Got a bang on him. Little black crappie. Hmm. Later. Boom, man. That's it. That's him right there. That's a what is that? Oh, buddy, get out of that top. 
It's a bass. He's a good fighter. He was smart. He went straight through the floor that other top. Mm -hmm. Good chunky bass. Yeah. Easy there, guy. That's a pretty one. All right, later. <laughs> yeah, I see that spot now. Right there. Let it sink. There he is. Oh, I got a better one this time. And that's what we're talking about. Oh, yeah. That one right there is a good one. <laughs> yeah. That's a good one. We'll take you. It's fixing to be dinner time. He's fixing to eat a beetle spin and a baba garland with crappie bites. And I'm going to eat a filleted crappie. Oh, there he was. Look at that. There's some bubbles. There he goes. What do we got? Uh, maybe a bass. That's a that's a good fish. Yep, that's another bass. <laughs> He's a fighter. Are you through there, buddy? Oh, here we go. Yeah, he's a pretty good one. Get this hook undone. Oh yeah, that's a good one. <laughs> that's a good one. All right, later. Gotta be right in there somewhere. I'm not sure exactly where it's at. There he is. Oh, oh, baby. I got a good one. I hope this is a crappie. Whoa, what is that? It's a bass. <laughs> Boy, I just caught two crappie in there and I thought I had a good crappie this time. 